How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Today we have access to another new car that's been added to the game. There's been a lack of exciting cars being added recently, but finally we get access to the Rimac Concept 2. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to quickly get this car as fast as possible and show you a bit of gameplay of it fully upgraded, but mainly this is how you can get the Rimac Concept 2 as fast as humanly possible through the festival playlist from 50% completion. Now to put it short, you unlock the Rimac Concept 2 when you get this week's festival playlist to 50%. Now I know lots of people can struggle to get to 50% quickly without it getting too boring, so these are the events and the PR stunts and everything I recommend you do to get to 50% completion as fast as possible. So if you go to the festival playlist, you'll see you have a bunch of stuff. The first thing I recommend you do is the weekly Fortathon challenge. The weekly Forza Don challenge will get you up to 15% towards the 50% and it will only take 10-15 minutes to do at the most. The weekly Forza Don challenge is done as simple as this. First, you need to get in any modern sports car. I would highly recommend the Porsche Carrera 911S, the 19, uh, 2019 one, sorry. The Nissan 370Z is also a good one as well, but I'd highly recommend the Porsche. And then the second challenge is to get three stars at the Moorhead Wind Farm Speed Trap, which was located here on the map. Now, this is actually quite difficult. There's only a certain amount of modern sports cars which will actually get three stars quite easily, which is 240 miles an hour. The cars I recommend you do it in is the Porsche, which I'm doing it in, or the Nissan 370Z. You need to fully upgrade it. You might even have to engine swap it, but try one of those and I'm sure you'll manage it. The next challenge is to get an airborne pass skill, which is also quite difficult. I went to this race here, which is the Mud Kickers 4x4 Scramble, and as you can see, I just kind of re-round a few times on these bumps um, that you can see on screen, and eventually one of the driver tires ended up you know getting behind me and i ended up getting the skill but this is a race i recommend you do to get the airborne pass skill which has to be done in a race obviously and then the last weekly challenge is to get two podium finishes on road racing series race simple as that now because it says podium finishes are not actual finishing first you can finish in third place and still get towards this which is why i'm going to tell you to do the following go to the moorhead wind farm circuit seen just there on the map Enter it, go to Solo, go to Create Blueprint and make sure you click Modern Sports Cars, go to the Event Settings and put it down to one lap. Now it means the, the race will finish in one lap but because you don't have to finish first, just in the top three, it's usually quite easy to do this. So just do this race twice, which is only one lap each and then you'll very easily completely complete the weekly challenge for 15%. Now I agree that was quite a long process for just 15%, the weekly Forza Launch Challenge this week was actually quite long, however from now on it's easy to rack from 15 up to 50%. The next three things I recommend to do are PR stunts which have a total of 18% which is quite a lot, that will get you up to 33% in total towards a completion which is nearly done then. There's a danger zone, there's a speed trap and there's a speed zone all at the bottom left hand corner of the map, you can probably see them on screen now. You need to get 189 meters at the hilltop vista, you need to get 110 meters, uh, 110 miles an hour, sorry, at the speed zone, and then 195 miles an hour at the speed trap. I personally managed to do all three of these in the Ferrari 59XX. I'll have a little clip right now of me completing them all. It's just, you just need a fast car. The speed trap and the speed zone are very easy in a fast car, and the danger zone, it's just as easy in a fast car as well. So use the 599XX, use a Koenigsegg, use the Hennessy Venom, something really fast and you'll be absolutely fine. Now once you've done the weekly Forzathon challenge and the three PR stunts, which I just said, you'll be at a total of 35% towards your goal. Remember, we only need to get to 50. The next thing I recommend you do is the monthly rivals. All you have to do is post a clean lap on the monthly rivals event and you'll instantly get another 6% towards the completion. Just simply go to it on the festival playlist, as you saw, load in, do one lap without hitting any of the walls, and then you can just quit. And there you go, you'll be up to 41% now. And then when you're up to 41%, unfortunately, you're onto the boring stuff. To get the remaining 9%, you need to do seasonal event championships. And the ones I recommend you do are this one, which is back to the 90s, and this one, which is holding to your hats. 
the back to the 90s one you can do in quite fast cars i can't remember exactly the class but you have a limit of s1 class so it's quite fast cars meaning you can get through the races rather quickly you can see the first championship bunch of races here do this one and you'll be up to 47 percent once you've completed that as i said you'll be at 48 percent complete and you'll only have to do one more of the event championships which i'm doing this one here the holden to your hats this one also concludes of three races as you can see on screen and then obviously as soon as you've completed these three events as long as you win i believe you do need to do it on the highest difficulty which is like highly skilled i think you'll be well over 50 percent and you will unlock the rimac concept 2 as you can see on screen and as you just saw, once you complete all of these events, PR stunts and challenges that I've just told you to do, you should have unlocked the Rimap Concept 2 in no more than an hour. Very quick and simple. Go to your festival playlist and you'll get this championship complete, 50%, whatever, and it'll pop up with the Rimap on screen. And then all you have to do is go to your cars, filter it down to Rimac. And here we are, we have, <laughs> that looks really weird, we have the 1,887 horsepower Rimac Concept 2 with zero displacement, which looks kind of funny. So just out of curiosity, we're going to jump in this thing and have a look and see what it's like. Obviously, we're going to have to fully upgrade it to see what kind of options Forza have given us. They've given us no aero whatsoever that's interesting in any sort of way, shape or form. There's no engine upgrades by the looks of it, which is a bit of a disappointment, but oh well. We do have some weight reduction and there you are the Rimac Concept 2 coming out at 1.5 tons which is actually that's quite a big weight reduction 1887 horsepower let's have a drive of this beast wow that accelerates incredibly quick jesus oh i'm in the trees now Ugh. for a stock car this is definitely very impressive I'll say once again, the process to get this car that I recommend is the following. Do the weekly Forza Talent Challenge and do, four, do all four challenges to do that. Do the three PR stunts, which give you a percentage each. Do a clean lap in the monthly Rivals event, thingamabob. And then do two of the seasonal event championships, which I showed you should be the quickest. And it would have only taken you an hour or so. Something like that. So nice and quick. Going to leave you with a bit of gameplay of the Rimac on screen right now. I tested out all the arrows to see which was fastest. That's why the wing is on it. Trust me, I didn't really want the ring to be on it. But yeah, go get this Rimac concept to while you can because it's only going to be available this week. So if you don't get it now, it might be a while till you see it again. And they're definitely going to be quite rare, rare on the auction house, that's for sure. So I'm going to leave you with a bit of gameplay now and some super wheel spins and some normal wheel spins. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I'll see you all later.